This is directed by Michael Greenspan and it stars Adrian Brody, Caroline Davernas, and Ryan Robbins. This had a global premiere at the Emirates Palace Hotel as part of the Abu Dhabi Film Festival. This was released in April. It's only made a few thousand dollars, so it's not really anything huge. It's an independent film. This movie is a combination of buried in 127 hours, is the way I see it. Um, the story is of Adrian Brody. Um, he doesn't have a name in the movie, so he's referred to as Man only. He awakes in a car wreck, and through the course of an hour and a half, he uh, gets out of the car and slowly discovers what happened. Uh, I won't give anything away in case anyone wants to see it, but suffice to say that he figures out how he's gotten there, and the twist of how he got there isn't anything overly spectacular, but it does make sense. If I have my facts straight, this movie was shot in 18 days, and it was shot in order, which is uh, very unusual for films, but given how this is an independent film, uh, things like that do tend to happen. I found myself enjoying this film very much. When you have a film like this, when you are relying on an actor to sort of carry the film for you, even though there's more than one actor in this movie, um, you spend most of your time with Adrian Brody, and when you do a movie like this, you want to have a, an actor who's able to entertain the audience or sort of keep them in the movie. And I was entertained for the entire film, and I never felt bored or anything. They keep things going. And they're shooting mostly in the woods, so I imagine they probably shot in the same area, just different angles and stuff to make it look like he was in a different part of the woods. Over the course of an hour and a half, he hallucinates certain things. After a while, you don't really know what is real and what isn't real because he's hallucinating so much. I will give this movie three out of five stars. I would recommend it. It's on Netflix. That's how I watched it. I uh, streamed it on my TV and uh, watched it there, so... Three out of five stars, a good movie.